Hey guys, I'm Mega G Wolf, and welcome back to my Sage coverage. Today we're checking out Polyroll, which isn't a Sonic fan game, quote unquote, but it definitely is inspired by the Sonic games in certain ways. Then again, Sage does have a few options that aren't Sonic related, so we'll let it slide. I think it even has a Mario game. Anyway, we're gonna jump right in, which. Man, this game is so charming in its presentation. It kind of reminds me, and I think this is the idea, but it reminds me of those freeware games you would get either through some, like, promotional deal or, like, cereal box of some kind. And I love it. You play this little... Is he an armadillo? I don't know. Maybe? Press X while ro uh, moving to roll. So, yeah, definitely kind of Sonic-inspired. This is, like, the origin of Mighty. There you go. <laughs> Destroying enemies by jumping or rolling into them. And collecting 10 gems gives us a heart. I have played this before. I actually played this during the second day of Sage. So I do know the uh, the intricacies of the poly roll experience. Oh, except I can never get that gem up there. Dang it. These flowers actually are... They can contain power-ups. One of this one is the feather flute. Which allows me to kind of hover, basically, as I fall down. I can't remember if there's any extra things to get around here because to be able to... It's basically like, you know how you would get green stars in 3D World, let's say Mario 3D World. The little... The, the big gems you can get on this. Little big gems. <laughs> They're the equivalent of that and you have to get a few. Hold X to do the rocket roll. Oh man, I love spin dashing because, you know... <laughs> Sonic inspired, that's why. Oh my goodness. I don't actually know what it says when you get... Oh, God. What's down here? Ooh, secrets. That's, that's, what is it saying? Oh, I did wonder how to get that one. Okay. That gem was uh, evading me last time as well. Oh, yeah. Look at this sweet... Oh, yes. I love the music in this game as well, by the way. And this is going to be available to buy... Uh, the full version is going to be available to buy on Steam, apparently. Sometime... I think it said next year? So that'll be... Maybe not, actually. I don't know. I don't remember. It might be next year. I'd have to look it up. I'll link it in the description if I think about it. Because this definitely seems like something I'll be picking up. Because I just... I love it. It's so adorable. And it's kind of fun, which is, you know, a, a part of it as well. Adorable is not necessarily the best reason to buy a game. I mean, I think I've done that before, though. <laughs> I'm taking my time, though, really trying to show off what this game is all about. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, I start the next stage with invincibility. Nice. So I got two gems out of that. That's pretty good. More than I got last time, which was nothing. <laughs> so, yes, let's start off with invincibility. Aha! And I already have the bomb, so I can use that right away to get more invincibility. <laughs> I'm just invincible! I am invincible! Well, it doesn't seem to do damage, it just makes you invulnerable uh, to, the, to the damage. So, that's uh, a bit different from the usual stars effect we're used to from, like, Sonic, where it would uh, just destroy everything. And I believe if I get hit, I lose my power, so I don't really want to do that. Aha! Oh. Also, I keep wanting to... There we go. I keep wanting to charge up the spin dash, but it doesn't do that. You have to hold it down, and that kind of throws me off a little bit. Because I'm used to I'm used to having to rev it up. There was another fan game that did that, where the idea was you had to not uh, rev, but just hold it, and it really bothered me. Not like really bothered me, but it, it became... It, it was a bit tough to get used to. I'm just, like, set in my ways. Woo! Very nice! I like the magnet. I wonder how many power-ups there are. It does one of those, um... I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it to the end in a reasonable time, but it does one of those things where it has, like, buy the game now and get 30 amazing levels. Find various power-ups. It's like one of those end screens that look like a really old ad that you'd get on the back of a... Or on the end of a demo or something. Wait, uh, can I...? Oh, yeah, that's right. Did I get, like, no gems? <laughs> I don't think I got any. I, I think I know where one was. It was on the pathway where the spikes were. I needed the, the spike power-up, you see, that was on that thing. But unfortunately, no, I didn't get any. Wow, okay. 
Okay. I see how it is. That's fine. We'll keep on rolling. I love the colors used in this game, by the way. They're so nice. We roll onto these poles to spin your way up. Woo! <laughs> There's actually two promising games from Sage <clears throat> that will hopefully turn into real things. Uh, I mean, obviously this one will, but I'm hoping the other one I'm going to show off at a later date will as well, because they are super impressive stuff. So this, this power-up allows me to walk on spikes without taking damage, which is very useful. Whoop. But I'd, I'd love to see the other one become a real project as well, since this one is. And I'm definitely going to see uh, this one go into my library. <laughs> definitely. I love the charm of this. Because, I mean, I'm a retro boy at heart, let's face it. However much I, I enjoy my modern games as well, I've, I've kind of always had a soft spot for retro aesthetics, for retro retro gaming in general. And uh, this is kind of uh, this is kind of hitting all those all those things I like. So, might as well. Whoop. I wonder how... Woo! I wonder how long I can charge that up for. Oh, that was that was interesting. I had, like, momentum there that kind of... I needed to come to a full stop to be able to fully gain control again. Which was kind of interesting. Okay, what's down here, though? Ah, magnets. Okay, sure, we'll do magnets. Why not? How do they work, though? Ah, yes. Classic internet. The, the best of memes out there available. How, how do they work? Magnet memes. I am definitely... You see, it's because we're going back in time, right? <clears throat> we're playing the old games. We're going back in time. You know, you triggered my trap card, over 9,000. Th those things. Those things we've come to expect from that kind of era. Uh, maybe, maybe these are probably a little early, actually. Or like a little earlier than those. Definitely. <laughs> but, you know. Oh, I just moonwalked out. That was really cool. <laughs> Ah, uh, good times. All right, what am I getting? Am I getting a bomb? No, too much power. Boo. So down here, we need five gems. So I need two more gems to get down there. It's a secret level, an extra level. I won't show that off. Maybe it'll give you a good, exa a good uh, example, a good reason to go and try the freeware version to play that one level down there, because I don't know what it is. I didn't even do it during the live stream because I didn't get enough... Uh, I didn't get enough gems then, actually. I think I got less than I have now. <laughs> so, oops. Huh? Ooh, I like the moon. Is it made of cheese? Wensleydale? Uh, I remember watching Wallace and Gromit around the kind of time that this game would be relevant. Huh? Oh, my goodness. Okay, what we got? Jump while bouncing off enemies to bounce higher. Oh, yeah, I understand why it's saying that now, because it's bus time! That guy looks completely out of place, and I love it. But we have to bounce up. Whoa. We have to bounce up on his children to get... Oh. 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 Ooh. Oh, no. I lost a heart. Huh? Don't worry. Got another one. Yeah, I really don't know what it's saying. Okay, so we actually... If we want to get the gem of this area, we need to keep some of these alive. And then jump. No, I don't need to jump off of that. Oh, God. Gotta be careful when jumping. Ah, uh, no! Ah! Uh. Okay. One, two, three, ah, uh, four, ah, uh, four, ah, uh, four, ah, four, ha, ha. No, I want the gem. I want it. I want to get the gem. I'm not gonna be able to get the gem. Nope. <laughs> Goodbye! We did it! Stage clear! Alright, and I want to get nothing. Apparently I get nothing. Go across the bridge. The end? There you go. Over 30 stages of adventure. Ultra fast scrolling with parallax. 256 color VGA graphics. Full channel volume audio? Question mark? <laughs> Like, will it? I'm buying it. I'm getting it. I want it. Give me that. Give me that poly roll. Yeah. That was really fun. I really enjoyed that. So check it out in the description below. See if you can get that special stage, that special bonus level down at the bottom. And tell me what you think of poly roll. Either way, guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. Throw us a like if you did. And I'll catch you next time. Take care. Say thanks. Bye.